Well, hello. This is Alive and Thriving. I am Jessica Reed, and today I am going to talk to you about one of the biggest mindset shifts that has really taken the fear out of anxiety for me. Now, if you have not heard my story, I do have a history. (laughs) Anxiety and I do go way back. Notice I'm not saying my anxiety. You'll understand why shortly. But if you have listened to episode one of my story or if you follow me regularly, then you do know that anxiety can pop in and it can take its hold on me from time to time. And it did that for years and years and years for me, um, which manifested in my life as uh, daily disassociation, panic attacks, physical illness, just really not functioning. (laughs) So many different ways. I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny, but I love that I can reflect on it now as if to say it no longer holds its grip over me. And so I'm going to tell you about this mindset shift in this episode today. And I wonder if this mindset shift might be something that could resonate with you to help you start to break free from the grips that anxiety might be having, perhaps on your mind, perhaps on your mind and your body, perhaps just on your body and the way that that is manifesting in your life, in your business, with your family. So I can't wait to share this with you. And just before I do, I just want to remind you that Becoming Limitless, my live healing immersion, is happening right now throughout September. There are five dates for you to choose from. This is a 90-minute live experience where we are going to be diving deep into you. We are going to be diving into what you consciously desire versus what is happening in your current reality right now. We're going to find that block. We're going to find that limiting belief and we are going to go through my four-step mind, body and energetic process to help you release this. No matter what kind of breakthrough or shift you have from this experience, you are going to leave with some kind of awareness, hopefully a really big release if what is coming up for you is ready to come out and you are going to leave ready to move forward with whatever it is that you are moving forward with in your business. This is not just some limiting beliefs masterclass. You are not just going to turn up and be spoken at. Uh, This is interactive. You can participate um, in terms of sharing as much as you want to but you but this is um, interactive in terms of I'm going to be taking you through a process I'm going to be guiding you through this process in a really safe and supported space and so if you would like this opportunity to come along and break through a belief and begin to align your conscious desires and your subconscious mind with what you really want to be bringing into this world, into your business, then this is definitely for you. I cannot wait to run these programs. I have, as I record this episode today, just finished putting the final touches on the delivery on on what I'm delivering and I can tell you right now that I it is powerful it is going to be really powerful so becoming limitless is just $35 to come along you get a copy of the recording if you can't make it live there is a workbook to help support you through this process and I cannot wait to show up and give you everything I have to help you move through something that is blocking you so that you can move through your next edge of expansion. So I hope to see you at Becoming Limitless. And I also just wanted to quickly remind you that applications are also currently open for the Transcendence Mastermind. If you are ready to surpass your 
glass ceilings, your self-imposed glass ceilings so that you can hold more income, more impact, more opportunities in your business, then I really would love for you to check out the Transcendence Mastermind. This is where personal evolution and energy management becomes your new business strategy. This is deep, deep work. This is a deep supported container for 12 months designed to accelerate your personal growth, designed to accelerate your business growth. Oh, I just, I have goosebumps even thinking about it. Go and check it out. The links are all in the show notes. And now let's get into the episode. You're listening to Alive and Thriving with Jessica Reed, the podcast that's all about empowering you to achieve optimal wellness and success through self-care, holistic practices, and raw conversations. Jessica and her expert guests are here to share powerful insights and strategies to help you overcome stress and anxiety, take charge of your life, and thrive in life and in business. Grab a cuppa and let's dive in. So I mentioned at the beginning in the introduction that my history with anxiety hasn't been my favorite thing. (laughs) You know, it's definitely been one of the harder things that I've had to deal with in my life. And there have been a really a few pivotal moments on my healing journey that I have found so empowering in terms of the way that I have viewed this anxiety. Because first off, first of all, when I was at my lowest in terms of the hold that anxiety has over me, notice how consciously I'm choosing my words. I used to say, I have anxiety. I'm a really anxious person. I am really anxious. I used to really own that. Okay. If you find that you are using these kinds of words for your experience with anxiety, I invite you to pause because it is not who you are. You are not anxious. You are experiencing anxiety. And the more you self-identify with it, the harder it is to break that cycle. So some of the things that have really helped me, and I'm going to share this new one that I've promised you very, very shortly, but just as I'm speaking, I realize I want to circle back a little bit because it's all so relevant. First things first, what really, really, really helped me to break free from this anxiety? And, you know, I mentioned before, but And if you listen to episode one, you'll sort of get a really good idea of how it has impacted me previously. Um, And then I shared a couple of episodes ago, you know, something that happened to me back in April, a traumatic experience, grief, things that caused a really anxious response in my nervous system that kept me in bed, that really had me panicking. But the difference between that and what I experienced years ago was first of all, my self-awareness, second of all, my understanding of why my body was responding that way. I didn't just magically develop anxiety. And so when I started my healing journey, really when I started using EFT tapping and I started training to become a practitioner with EFT, I was able to really get a bit more of a bird's eye view on what I was experiencing Now, I had, as I mentioned previously, identified myself as being an anxious person. I let the anxiety control me. I made regular decisions based on anticipating being anxious. Oops, I don't know if you heard that. (laughs) That was my my fork on my plate from my lunch. Um, I would make regular decisions. It took over my body from the moment I woke up in the morning. It took over my body. It would be my heart rate would be up through the roof. I'm talking anywhere from 150 to 180 um, when I'd just be sitting down. 
from the second I opened my eyes, I would be disassociated. I would be, so if you don't know what that means, it means really just to describe it, that it would be as if my brain had left my body. It is a survival technique. Now, this all happened to me after medical trauma that had built on top of a a severe car accident trauma that was back in 2009. And then I lived in years of perpetual stress. And then my job was extremely stress inducing, (laughs) burnout inducing. I had children at that point, one who didn't sleep very well. Um, I was having all sorts of issues and then I had an injury that turned into a uh, pulmonary embolism. I needed surgery for my leg. All these things happened. And so then these medical traumas was like the tipping point for my body with this fundamental belief that I had. And this is really important. This belief that I was carrying around that I was not safe and that the world was not a safe place for me. Now, I actually want to circle into this really quickly because you know that I am running my Becoming Limitless workshops. And yes, these are help these are here to help you break through something that is happening in your business. But what is not happening for you in your business is happening because you are misaligned inside. So you have a conscious desire and a subconscious belief that aren't that aren't supportive, a belief that is not supportive of what you are trying to bring into this world, how you are trying to live and what you are trying to experience. So in this case, this belief that I had around the world not being safe and me not being safe and also me not being able to trust my body. That was another one that I identified with the help of my mentors. This was not only impacting my life in terms of anxiety, but it also kept showing up in terms of starting. It's what showed up at work when I had my old job and then it started showing up in my business as well. With the help of my mentors, I was able to identify the root cause of this belief, the root cause. Now, I want to point out that this belief did not come from severe childhood trauma. Sometimes we think that we had to have had something really big happen to have these sorts of beliefs form. So I told you, I shared with you that I have had these traumatic experiences happen and these stressful experiences happen that have kept my body in a state of fight or flight, kept my amygdala on high alert, danger, danger, danger for a prolonged period of time. But the core belief, the core belief that all of these were building on that the world was not safe for me actually came from, are you ready? See if this sounds familiar for you. It actually came from a parent And please, I have a beautiful relationship with my parents. So if you're listening, (laughs) but it came from a parent who would continually use words all the time, such as, that's not safe. Just be careful. Don't do this. You're going to hurt yourself. That's going to break on you. That bubble wrapped type approach that comes from love (laughs) being very careful how I say this that bubble wrapped approach that comes very much from love taught me that I couldn't make safe decisions and taught me that I was going to be hurt at any given moment so then when I was hurt when my knee first dislocated uh, when I was 14 years old and then it happened again six months later and then happened again And then when I had a major car accident in 2009 and had five years of rehabilitation, and then when I had, um, again, my knee dislocated again in 2017, I had a really unwell pregnancy uh, experience in 2015. I'm not really going chronologically here, and I do have a point. (laughs) All these things, 
And then I had, as I said, a pulmonary embolism. I had all of these things that happened in my body because of that. This all fed that belief that the world was not safe for me and I couldn't trust my body. And it just fed it and fed it and fed it. And so being able to identify that core belief and being able to desensitize that core belief and then reprogram that belief has been phenomenal. So I invite you to get curious about what beliefs might actually be underneath your anxiety or underneath the level of stress that you are living in or underneath whatever it is you are experiencing because your perception and your reactions and your responses, they're all going to come from the beliefs that you have. So as I reflect back on the pivotal thing, the pivotal things that have really shifted my relationship with anxiety. The very, 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 very first thing was really understanding what my body was doing, was understanding that there wasn't fun- something fundamentally wrong with my brain, <laughs> that I wasn't all of a sudden becoming this anxious person and that I had identified with and I felt like I couldn't escape was that actually understanding that this is what happens when you have been in a prolonged state of stress. This is what happens when you have trauma that is stored in your body. This is what happens when you have repressed emotions that need to be given a voice to. This is why my amygdala is having this you are not safe response and telling my body that I am in danger and constantly reacting as if that is the case. So understanding what was actually happening in my body was something that was really important. And this learning and this understanding as I moved through my holistic human development learnings and and all those things really reflects in Thrive, the stress and anxiety management libraries that I created. And then... I look now as I move further down and I'm then, as I mentioned, I moved into beliefs, beliefs and, st- and the identity was another huge, huge, huge thing that helped me to take the fear away from the anxiety and the fear away from the panic attacks because I knew what was happening in my body. I understood why it was happening. And then I was able to start to identify things that were keeping it alive for me, things that were making my triggers happen more regularly. So what happens when you start to desensitize these beliefs is you have freedom from your triggers because they just they just don't hold the same emotional weight as they did before. And then here is the final thing that I really, really, really wanted to share with you today, hoping that if you do experience anxiety in your body, in your mind, if it's showing up day to day in your business, what I really wanted to share with you today is, I guess, yeah, the latest thing that has really helped me to take that fear away And that is using anxiety as an invitation to get curious. What if you are feeling anxious because something is actually really misaligned with you? So that might be that you have a trauma that is ready to release. That might be that you have a belief, a belief that is operating and controlling your decisions and controlling your perspective that really doesn't align with what you are consciously wanting to do with your life. So many people get to their next edge of expansion and they get to this point or they start their business and then they blame anxiety for circling them back. But what if the anxiety was just a message to say, hey, you're actually not in alignment right now? What if that anxiety was a message to say there are things that you need to deal with so that you can create what you are consciously trying to create? 
What if that anxiety is an invitation for you to get curious about what is misaligned in your life, in your thoughts, in your body, and correct that or shift it? I shouldn't say correct because everything that you experience is experiencing for a reason. But what if you have an opportunity to shift that? so that you can step into what you are consciously desiring by bringing it all into alignment. And so when I feel anxiety now, if I wake up in the morning and I'm having an anxious day, which happens because I'm human, even though I have all the coping tools in the world, what I have now, what this deep, deep work has given me is a capacity to cope. And it's given me a brilliant toolkit to be able to do that but if I wake up in the morning and I'm feeling anxious it would be so easy for my brain to go here we go again this is familiar radio let's live here again instead what I am asking myself is what's happening for me what's it what's this anxiety trying to share with me And for me recently, you know, sometimes I'm feeling anxious because I'm actually going through another big grief wave. Sometimes I'm feeling anxious because I've had a stressful couple of days and I've perhaps not been as mindful or as intentional or as present as I would have liked to have been, meaning that I was functioning from old autopilot habits. And the anxiety is popping up to tell me that I am not in alignment. When I was working on an offer that I wanted to put out to the world that was causing me anxiety, not just a fear response, not just to know I'm out of my comfort zone, but a fear, like an anxiety response, a full-blown anxiety every time I tried to work on it. That was a big message to say that this offer is not what you need to be putting out into the world right now. It is not in alignment with what you are trying to do. And I see this with clients all the time. They come into my one month intensive, which is my one-on-one healing space where we spend four weeks really intentionally helping you regulate your nervous system and release what is ready to come up. Because that's what's happening. Anxiety is there because something is ready for you to come up and ready for you to deal with. And the longer that you accept this as being just the way that you are, of course, we need to accept where we're at. But the longer that you accept that I am just an anxious person and then we go and we continue on with our anxiety every day and we continue to ignore the fact that your body is actually screaming at you that something is not in alignment and potentially has been screaming at you for years and years and years to the point where your nervous system has maybe gone into a you know some kind of shutdown state perhaps you operate from a freeze response or perhaps you're constantly in fight or flight You are not regulated. You feel overwhelmed. You feel like you're not coping. You feel like you've lost a connection to yourself. When you've been in this anxious place, um, anxiety-driven place for such a long period of time, you have been ignoring what your body has been trying to get your attention about for a long period of time. Now, I truly, truly believe that our healing happens in layers. Healing is not a journey that you get to a final destination of. It is lineal. And when you have a new layer to come up, a new layer to be let go of, your body is going to try and get your attention in some way, shape or form. That might be through stress, that might be through fear, that might be through anxiety, that might be through self-sabotage, that might be through continued uh, repeated patterns of behavior. So my big takeaway message today is to get curious because getting curious, again, 
has has been this next level for me of being able to just feel the anxiety when I need to feel it. Okay, anxiety's come up for me today. Let's get curious what this is about. Let's ha- let's open up some internal dialogue. And if you don't know how to connect with your body, if you don't know how to lean in and listen and you don't know how to start to pay attention to what your subconscious mind, your body mind is telling you that you need to release, then let's have a conversation. Let's chat because that is something that I can facilitate for you. That is something that I can guide you through, that I can introduce you to in my one-on-one container. And if you are somebody who is wanting to dive deeper and get curious alongside growing your business, then I really encourage you to have a look at my Transcendence Mastermind because there is also opportunities to work one-on-one with me within that container as well as as the impact of the group mastermind so that you can truly become an energetic match for what you want to bring into your life and your business where we are going to combine personal evolution which includes deep healing the work that most people are too scared to do because it's uncomfortable you're not if you're here listening to this today (laughs) that is what we are going to be combining with energy management and learning strategy for your business that is going to support your unique energy and your unique needs. So I don't know if you can find another container that supports personal evolution, energy management, business strategy and deep therapeutic healing. Let me know if you do. (laughs) The transcendence is pretty unique. So I have all the links to all of these things. If you are ready to move forward in one way or another, working privately together, growing your business simultaneously through the transcendence mastermind, then let's chat because you do not have to live in this state of anxiety or this state of perpetual stress, or this state of continued negative self-talk where your inner critic or your inner mean girl or however you want to put her is literally causing you physical stress. Think about this. The thoughts that we have, the thoughts, the anxious thoughts, the stressful thoughts, the mean thoughts, they are making you feel physically unwell, physically stressed. So imagine what is going to become possible for you when you can reprogram these thoughts, when you can actually reprogram your beliefs to support what you are trying to achieve. Just like me believing that the world is not safe or that I am an anxious person, those beliefs Those beliefs did not support my conscious desire, which was to feel like I was free from anxiety's grip. My conscious desire to feel normal, to reconnect with my old self, but in a brand new way (laughs) because I love growth and I love evolution. So just really think about, I really invite you to think about what, where your beliefs aren't aligned with what you're bringing into your world. And if you do experience anxiety, then let's start to loosen its grip on you and ask yourself, what are you trying to tell me? What's out of alignment in my life right now? What is ready? What is my body telling me that I am ready to heal and let go of? And those questions are going to help to free you from that grip of anxiety and panic and living in in this hypervigilant state, this survival mode state that society has just deemed to be so normal. So that's it from me today. 
I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. And if this episode resonated with you, then please pop over onto Instagram at jessica.read.ilc and tell me. I love hearing your stories and if you would like to ask any questions at all about Transcendence Mastermind, about working one-on-one together, then let's chat. Let's just chat. It's all, uh, what do you call it? The chats are complimentary, but I'm trying to think of the word. You know, when you don't, you don't have to go ahead. <laughs> I've obviously lost my words. Um, it's a, you know, we, we, We chat to decide if something is good for you. There is absolutely no upfront commitment that says because we are talking, um, you have to move forward. So let's chat. Let's just see if there's if there is some way that we can help you to break free from your current state of being and transcend into your next state of being and transcend those glass ceilings that you have imposed in your mind, whether it be through anxiety, through limiting beliefs, through stories that are just not serving you. Let's surpass those together. Wow, what a journey it's been today. We are so grateful for each and every one of you who tuned in to Alive and Thriving. If you enjoyed this episode and want to help us keep growing, please consider subscribing and leaving a review on your favorite platform. It's a simple but powerful way to support a small business like ours to continue to make an impact.